Stranger Things ended its first season the same way it started, with lots of hints. For example, while the opening episode's Dungeons & Dragons battle foreshadowed the series' monster via the Demigorgon, the last episode teased a new beast, the eight-headed Thessal Hydra, as well as a lost knight, proud princess and more. But what does it all mean? And what can we expect from the new series? Here's a list of theories and speculation for what we know about Stranger Things Season 2. There's going to be major spoilers coming up. If you've not seen it, stop watching now. The second season will skip ahead a year. According to showrunners Matt and Ross Duffer, the second season will take place at least a full year later. The kids are getting older, so it makes sense for the show to age with the actors, with Matt Duffer calling it a Harry Potter situation and telling Entertainment Weekly, I love watching the kids grow up on camera. The idea of seeing where these kids are and where these characters are going one year later is cool to me. We'll find out how the Upside Down affected everyone. According to the Duffer brothers, we really haven't seen just how messed up these characters are, especially physically. At least four people survived the Upside Down and a fifth, Eleven, is potentially still there. They took off their helmets and we know it's a toxic environment, Ross Duffer told IGN. A big part of season two we've been discussing is what is that effect? Did it affect everyone else, but especially is Will okay? The short answer being no. Eleven is Hopper's daughter. Some theories think Eleven is not the daughter of a comatose woman, but rather the Sheriff Hopper. It would explain his determination to figure out what happened to her. Plus, Matt Duffer said there's something bigger going on between the two of them that will likely manifest next season. Matt Duffer told Variety that Hopper is left with this guilt because he sold her out. We wanted to leave it sort of mysterious, exactly what he knows. Have there been sightings in the woods or is he hoping she's out there or has he already made contact with her? We don't know the answer to any of that, but we like the idea of potentially putting her and Hopper together. There are other test subjects. Eleven's tattoo reads 011, both the number and the format suggesting that more than one test subject exists. That introduces the opportunity for new superpowered characters, perhaps with other abilities. Producer Sean Levy did tell Slashfilm that we're getting other characters next season as well. The government might not be so bad anymore. In true E.T. fashion, the government agency served as a big bad for season one, but afterwards it looked like we saw a softer side. According to the showrunners, when Hopper got into the car at the end of the last season, it represented how he and the town are going to have to clean up what happened. But this will likely put the government in a new position of not being so secretive and evil anymore. If Hopper is working with them, we may learn more about who they are and their intentions. We could go back to the laboratory and pull back the curtain a bit, Matt Duffer told IGN. It's not as evil and mysterious as it was in season one. We might start to get into what they were doing a little bit more. Maybe they'll seem a little more friendly, at least in the beginning. The Upside Down is about to get a lot bigger. When the kids were chatting with their teacher, Mr. Clark, about a portal to the Upside Down, Clark worried that a gate could swallow us up whole. Over the course of the first season, we saw the portal gate grow from a hole in the wall to having vines all around the research lab and eventually entrances in other parts of the town, like Will's house and the forest. We're getting a lot more monsters and we may already have met them. At the end of season eight, the boys battle an eight-headed Thessal Hydra in another Dungeons and Dragons game. Much like the Demigorgon foreshadowing Season 1's monster, the Thessal Hydra could indicate the next enemy. Is it going to be an eight-headed monster, or more likely, eight monsters? Eight monsters we may have already met. We know that the Demigorgon claimed five victims in the Upside Down, excluding Will who survived. We also know there's an egg in the Upside Down, and Will spit out a slug. That equals seven monsters, or seven heads. But that leaves one question, who will be the eighth? Well, we already know that too. Will is the eighth head of the Thessal Hydra. Joyce and Hopper eventually saved Will, pulling a snake creature out of his body. Now, you can take Will out of the Upside Down, but can you take the Upside Down out of Will? He seems connected to the Thessal Hydra theory. For starters, his slug spit. According to D&D, the Thessal Hydra can spit a gob of acidic salida from his main mouth. Ross Duffer told IGN that Will's been in there for an entire week, and it's had some kind of effect on him, both emotionally and perhaps physically. The idea is he's escaped this nightmare place, but has he really? Those are our theories for Stranger Things Season 2. If you have any of your own or any questions, leave any comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more film, TV and gaming news from GamesRadar.